What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict here. Back at you again. Mac Thursday. Got a sweet tool haul today. Pretty pumped with this one, guys. Mac dealer came through. Huge, huge. Uh, with some cool stuff. I shouldn't say huge, huge. With some cool stuff. Um, you get some more lighting over here. Sorry. Technical. Technical difficulties in the old... Uh, yeah, that's a little better. Sorry, I forgot my uh, other camera at home again. Um, I'm not very good at remembering stuff sometimes. Like that's why I have to do this stuff on the fly. <clears throat> you know, as a you know kind of a deal. That's how it is. Um, I got a lot going on. Pretty excited. I got a big day tomorrow. Um, we're moving on in the future here um, with uh, some big things for me um, personally, which I'm happy about. Um, 2020 is definitely going to be a great year, and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, um, bringing you guys more tool hauls, better reviews, and actually doing some maybe car repair videos. As you can see back here, we uh, we got one that we just got done today. Um, looking to definitely change up stuff. I'm branching out a little bit more on my own, um, getting another partner um, in uh, my ventures, um, and then expanding my um, repair um, you know, I, I'd always worked with kind of a used car lot guy, um, general public, you know, whatnot. Um, but I'm looking at, you know, this buying cars and fixing them up and really like, I think a lot of car lots are, um, you know, kind of stingy about how they fix cars. And I, my goal is to buy a car always at the right money so that I can put a decent amount of money into it. Um, and fix it up completely right. Um, which means every little thing. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is. I have high standards. Um, that's why I like good tools. And I also want to have high standards with cars. So I'm going to be very picky and just not like, I'm probably not going to buy a ton of flippers. But uh, I decided that uh, this is my direction in life. But enough with me ranting. Let's get on with the tool haul. Because that's why you guys are really here. You don't care about what I'm doing. As long as I'm bringing in tools, that's all that matters. And I'm good with doing that too. We're going to start small. Um... Once again, this is kind of me picking up stuff that I used to have. This is called an ST350, and I do apologize if you guys can't see the part numbers really good. I know that this uh, um, camera is not as good as my other one, but this is the ST350 Mini Torch. Um, hold on, I forgot. Forgot to grab my butane. We'll fill her up. I like these little things for heat shrink. Um, I apologize for uh, me just blasting. We'll just fill her right up here on camera. Get a little fluid in her. Um, see if we can get this thing. They, these butane ones take a little bit to get started up every once in a while when you when you first get them going. But I like these little guys right here. They're just a little keychain lighter, but also great cigar lighters um i'll be honest with you two reasons why i bought this and they last forever i don't know if you guys have ever had this filled up with butane i have a good cigar lighter but i always lose the good ones too and i don't remember exactly how much these were Let's see if we can get this little guy fired up get a flame out of it there we go. Woo, baby. Great. They last forever. The last one I had. Come on. They're a little bit of a pain in the ass to get air in them when you first get them. Once you get them going, these things are awesome little lighters. If you've ever had one of these, you know what I'm talking about. They're well built. See that? Puts out a nice flame, so if you want to do some quick... Quick heat shrink jobs or whatnot like that. You just got to get the air air purged out of them. You got to kind of turn them upside down. They get a little bit of air purge. There you go. So they're great little torches. Sometimes they don't want to shut off. But the ST350, these things are excellent, excellent torches. Mac has had these for years. But I wanted one to keep here in the shop because I always forget my cigar lighter at home. That's another thing I wanted for. <laughs> Dual purpose. Max cigar lighter. And this. Anyways. 
enough about that crazy crap then picked up these are going on special right here bull nose uh part number sd1118 hopefully you can these are the bull nose um clothes clamp pliers um i have a couple different sets of these but these right here are my favorite set i lost these i didn't know that they had they had these still you see the clamp style jaws on there these are super fast for quick and they got not only that they're cut on the side so you can grab them from the side your rent your uh hose clamps or the top and they're spring loaded so these are my go-to pliers for spring clamps when you have those pesky spring clamps i think chrysler's and you know a couple others that have them so pretty excited to have these they were like on sale for 25 bucks um if i do remember right pretty well built um these are probably these are probably a, a yeah these are made in taiwan um i'm not i don't ex i don't expect that to not be but uh anywho good little pliers they've had the same ones forever i don't know if there's some kind of patent issue with them or whatnot uh, next thing I picked up, um, I'm probably going to need this for the PT Cruiser build, if I don't sell it. I had a guy offer me some money today for it, believe it or not. Was just absolutely excited to see this thing, or for this PT Cruiser, and kind of offered me some money, and I might not be fixing it, because I might have gave it up. Next thing I got is this jaw puller. Um, this is a Chrysler and GM jaw puller, and this is pretty much... The best one on the market for a three jaw puller um it's got these ratcheting teeth and what they do is they don't flop around on you so you can stick it in there and set it for your harmonic balancer and then turn it and then you can start your pulling factor it's got a huge jaw right here um i think mac is pretty much the only ones that has these the only thing you don't want to do with these things yeah, i'll tell you right now is once you get them so you can whoop. So you can, you can pull your teeth out so you can change it to a two jaw setup, but it's got this little tab right here for your ratcheting piece. That will break off if you flex that up too much, pushing that up too much. So you're going to watch it when you pull this thing up, but you can change this to a two jaw style setup. Um, you see how the it's got the deal right there where you can change it to a two jaw. Say we want to go that route, get rid of this guy. And th these things wear in a little bit better. So we can change it to a two-jaw style or a three-jaw style. Um, these are actually, and the part number on this one is a L-O-H-B-P-1. Now, um, it says on here, um, push turn and click. Fits four, uh, fits general, three, five threes, I know. The five, seven LSs, six, seven Os. Ford Coyotes, and other three and spoke, four, six spoke balancers. But Chrysler's are the big ones. I think with these, these are pretty much the only ones on Chrysler that you can use that you don't have to uh, remove the radiator when using these ones to remove their balancer. Um, let me grab my, I lost my, I lost my dimple. Dropped her down here. Drop the little fella here. So uh, this just pops in there with a little O-ring. Um, pretty nice puller, guys. If you are uh, needing a three-jaw, two-jaw, you know, whatever puller, this is, uh, this in my mind right here is, is the, the best one on the market. Um, I have not seen anyone like this that has these. Um, I don't know if there is. Maybe you know in the comments. But I can tell you right now, when removing harmonic balancers, this pretty much is the cat's ass. So, um, that's my spiel on that. And they are like 150 bucks. So, it's nice that you... I really like this ratcheting des design right here. Keeps them solid. That way you can get them in there. Lock it down. Spin her down. Um, this is just a, I, I mean, I sound really excited about it because I am. <laughs> just pulled a balancer the other day and it was a pain in the ass. With my old puller, these ones save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches. All right, next thing I got, um, I don't know if I want to go with the fun ones or not. I'm going to go with the fun ones. I got me a big set of tweezers. 
uh, these are the Mantis 14 inch tight access tool. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a gimmick, but I actually um, have some times when I'm trying to plug in um, uh, connectors on cars when I'm doing certain stuff, when I'm trying to plug them in. It was a pain in the ass getting it off, and I usually use a tool to reach in there with my clip tool and whatnot, where these I think will be kind of handy to put in clips. Um, it's a gimmick. They're 20 bucks. I don't care. It's $20. Um, they're giant tweezers. They're a conversation piece of nothing else. I don't really care, but I actually, these jaws on these, let me see if I can get you up here. These jaws are legit. They are nice, and they interlock on these. These 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 uh these things are pretty cool, I think. Uh, they hold on. They hold on pretty good. <laughs> that just ripped that all to shreds. So, um, the part number on these is an ET8100. Um, giant tweezers. Mantis giant tight access tool. They're actually not called giant tweezers. They're called the, the Mantis tight access tools. And I'm pretty sure somebody else builds these and I'm pretty sure Mantis is the builder. I'm not sure what the deal is, but fun tool, cheap, whatnot. Um, <laughs> I have another tool I want to show you and I probably was unprepared and did friggin not bring my piece over here yeah it's sitting over there on the desk okay let me run over there real quick don't go away folks i'll be right back you're gonna want to see this left it on the desk over here to uh my, my little display or my little uh my uh my demo piece here, nothing fancy. So what I bought here, and check this out, is the 12-piece uh, metric reversible six-point ratcheting wrenches. Now, I know Capri just came out with a set of ratcheting wrenches, and they're a little bit cheaper than these. Um, these are the Precision Torx, but Capri, these do not, these have a few more options that the Capri doesn't have that I really enjoy. Okay, so here it is. Here's a set. Once again, Max, um, just awesome holder, holding holder. And I'm sure you guys have seen these ratcheting wrenches. I don't think some of you have seen though exactly the capabilities of what these do. Now these are, a these are almost a full set minus a nine millimeter, which if any of you know, I don't use a nine millimeter, um, hardly ever. So I'm fine with not having a nine millimeter. In fact, I wish they would skip out some nine millimeters on more sets. Save me a little more money. Um, but as you know, anyways, this is a, this is a pretty much complete set, seven to 19. Um, once again, knuckle saver design, very nice wrench, a little bit different offset on the head um, and a little bit different bend. Let's get my gear wrenches out here. I've hated my gear wrenches forever. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We're gonna carry my, and a lot of you are gonna say, you know, why do you hate gear wrenches? I've had these bad boys for a long time and I can't stand them. Um, these are, I don't know if they're the older ones. Not sure what the deal is with them. Um, the, there's not much difference in the, in the gearing in this. Or whatnot um, but these jaws spread like crazy so this end of the wrench is pretty much worthless not only that these 12 points I think they suck um, compared to, for fitment wise now we've got an 18 millimeter bolt right here that fits in there pretty decent in that gear wrench but in this six point ratcheting wrench oh yeah ooh la la ooh la la nice tight fit not only that, oh yeah, nice, tight fit, and, it, and it's probably not going to spread. So uh, it locks on there, anti-slip design. The bolt sets in there really nice and snug. I like how it looks, like how it feels, you know, um, compared to the gear wrench. You see the gaps. They're pretty, they're pretty kind of, I don't, I don't like them. I don't like them. I just don't like them. 
these ones look at how nice and snug that that bolt looks like it's nestled in there so ever so good but it's a ratcheting wrench six point ratcheting wrench you know you guys are like nah i'm not sold on it cp tell me more well here's the deal and i and i'm and once again this is just a tool haul not a review really but i am showing you the benefits and features of this the biggest coolest part about this wrench that I really do like, that could be a useful tool is, bam! Oh, magic, no strings. Well, CB, how do you do that? It's not me, it's the wrench. I'm not that talented. Check out in there, see that little metal snap ring? Now it is only a one-way snap ring, so you can only technically use it on this side. But if you're trying to start a bolt, this could be very useful. Um, I find myself doing that a lot, especially there was a Lexus I had last night. This would be super, super handy on doing this. Um, getting a bolt started in there. I think that is a really, really cool design. Now, it would be a pain in the ass if you're trying to wrench like that because then you're going to have to struggle in getting that bolt off. But that's why the access is only on one side. So when your wrench is normal like this, boop. Socket falls right out. Um, I think this is a really, really, really good addition to any guy's toolbox. I think these are one of those things. They're not only great wrenches to use every day. Um, you know, Fake Hound builds these wrenches for Mac. I get it. Um, but I think these, uh, I think these are nice wrenches. I really think that they did a great job on these, and I think that uh, um, I'm going to be happy with these. Um, I'm, I was. Want to try them out. I have a good set of Mac wrenches now that are, I have a set of wrenches, I guess, from Mac now that I can try. And I can retire the gear wrenches that I have hated for many, many years. The only thing that I liked about these were that they, this end worked semi good. But for most of the time, I was always scared I was gonna round a bolt off, slip. The ratcheting mechanism worked great. Reversible was great. I just never did like the fitment they ever had on fasteners, so. Apologize that heater's loud. The old resina right there. Bang, bang. Um, she's flying off. We're not done yet. Still got a couple things. Don't forget, guys, I'm going to be posting pictures on my Instagram. If you haven't followed it, I have the brand new Mac flyer for uh, January to February right here. Um, and then it'll tell you, you know, of course, the Doug, the Doug Coletta. Find the Doug Coletta Dragster in the magazine. I, uh, Hard Knocks had a picture posted up of it, and uh, I couldn't find that thing. I looked for a half an hour. Kind of a fun deal with these flyers. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, once again, I think the January flyers were kind of unimpressive for Mac, but still had some good stuff in there. I guess the more I thought about it anyways. Um, anyways, don't forget, that's going to be on Instagram. Last thing I bought... Um, let me get this out of the way here. You guys are probably going to just be like, what? Bam. Mid-torque. 3.8 brushless 20-volt Mac uh, MCF894. And I know what you guys are saying now. But, CP, what about the Milwaukee's? How can you beat the Milwaukee's? Well, this is going to be the start to find out if... Um, this is a, I don't think there's enough stuff out there. This is a mid-torque gun, 600 foot-pounds, and this is what I'm looking for. I don't really need a 1,200 foot-pound half-inch gun, guys. Um, if I need something that big, I whip out the old air impact. I want something light, compact, that is a little bit more than the stubby. And so I was, I've was. i been shopping around for a mid-torque impact. Um, let me give you the specs on this bad boy right quick. Um, this one right here is... Breakaway torque, 600 foot-pounds. Um, the forward RPM is 900. Impact assist, 2,000 high speed. Reverse rat rev. The weight on it, three and a half pounds. Um, it's very, very compact. Okay, this is a 3.8 stubby, guys. This is a 3.8 stubby Milwaukee. You can see that there's not much difference there between these guns. <coughs> and I'm going to get a 20 volt. <coughs> Sorry, um, you just got a bitter difference on the nose there. 
Um, I really think that the uh, and you know people are going to say, well, what about the warranty? Here's the big, here's the kicker. Maco's got a two-year warranty on theirs. Snap-on's got a one-year warranty on theirs. Milwaukee's got a five-year, but Mac has a three-year on theirs. Not only that, look at that. Made in the USA with global materials. Uh, <laughs> it's still, DeWalt is not a bad company, so I doubt this impact is not going to impress me um, or make me happy. It feels, I'm going to be honest with you guys, it feels better than the Milwaukee in my hand. Uh, there's no doubt about it. You guys, I mean, for me in my hand, it feels well balanced. This is a no bullshit, you know, first impression. Um, I'm going to do a full review on this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing if this thing can hold up to the test, because I'm going to be using the shit out of this. This is my Milwaukee. I've had it for a year, um, and I can honestly say now, you know, in my opinion, um, of course, there's a lot of reviews out there, but you know what these guys are capable of, and they're, they're great impacts, and I love this thing. Don't get me wrong. Um, I absolutely do love it. But I needed something a little more. That 250 foot-pound breakaway, is, it does way more than I ask it to do. But this right here at 600 foot-pounds, I think is gonna be the answer to what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna not gonna lie to you guys, this was dirt cheap, $239. This is bare tool only, uh, but if you've got DeWalt stuff, you're in business. Um, your battery's mounting up right to this. And I understand that Mac and DeWalt are together and that's perfectly fine by me. The one big difference I can tell you right now between the Mac and the DeWalt is, the Mac has a better housing, hands down. Um, the DeWalt doesn't even come close to how they have this housing, this poly, poly glass housing, or uh, what is it, poly nylon glass? Um, I can't remember what they call it, hold on. Wait a second here, glass filled nylon housing. Glass filled nylon housing. But the handle is really super great. It, it just, the balance of this, the way it sets underneath my hand, th uh, this thing, the only thing I can say about the Milwaukee that bothers me is right back here, the way it sets in my hand. I really, sometimes I have a lot, little bit of trouble controlling it and it's not because of power, it's just the way I grab it and it's kind of funky. Um, and I'm a staunch um, guy about ergonomics. I shoot guns for Christ's sake, you know. So having something that, I go to in my hand. This thing seems like it's memory foamed fit to my hands. Uh, very nice. The trigger on this thing is super. I have troubles getting this one, um, getting it all the way engaged. I have no troubles positively engaging this one. Uh, I'm a lot faster with it. So, uh, you know, getting it forward reverse. We're going to see. I'm going to give it a shot. Review came with this uh, little impact deal too for free. Uh, for a 3 8 swivel, so um, it's got a hog ring on it, which is super tight. I'm gonna have to work on that fella. We're gonna have to get some pliers on there and get a little squeeze to it. That hog ring is freaking tight. Um, light on here, you know. I wish I had a battery, I didn't have they didn't have one in stock, so I had to wait for a battery. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. It felt really good. He had, a, he had a battery on another cordless kit that he had there. Um, but i, I got to tell you guys, I really think Max a player in, in cordless impacts. Um, some of you might not think so, and the price might be comparable to Milwaukee. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If there's anybody that's a direct competitor to Milwaukee, it's DeWalt. DeWalt is, um, you know, they're one of the biggest tool manufacturers. They've been around for years. Um, DeWalt and Milwaukee are probably the two top two cordless tool manufacturers in the world, um, hands down. So for me to say that this wouldn't be the way you would want to compare it to a Milwaukee is put them head to head against two, the best tool in the world. And I'd say that these are the two best tools in the world. Um, I understand the Snap-ons are good, but the Snap-on doesn't build a 600 foot pound mid torque. So I'd have to put this up against the Milwaukee mid torque because nobody else has a 600. And I can tell you right now, the Matco one's not going to do it. Um, I've seen multiple things on that. Maco one is pretty cheap, cheesy in my opinion, and it's expensive. But for this guy right here, if you already have the DeWalt, DeWalt setup, um, this this guy right here will literally just fall right into place. I didn't want to have two different battery platforms, but if I go with this mid torque and half inch in DeWalt, 
no big deal. Um, I don't have any. I don't have anything but um, the uh, 12 volt M12. So I would have to have a different battery. I'd have to have an 18 volt battery set up for that anyway. So six and a half, one of those. And then, anyways, um, last thing I got, guys, got some hand cleaner, Mac Tools, made in the USA hand cleaner. Um, you know, this is a little gift from my Mac guy once again. This is excellent for moving paint, he says, and this is great for everyday stuff. And uh, I'm gonna try this stuff out, let you know how it goes. Um, it smells, oh, it smells fantastic. Uh, it's got a very nice cherry aroma to it. Very, uh, the bouquet, uh, just really hits you right there in the nose and um, makes you feel good. Um, anyways, you know, maybe you wanna get done working in the shop at night, and, you know, go and crush your lady. <laughs> uh, you got your hand, Mac hand tools cleaner. Um, but uh, yeah. Made the USA hand cleaner. Can't beat that. So, anyways, guys, I uh, rambled on. Oh, wait. I didn't show you my line. Oh, I showed that. Never mind. Uh, anyways, check me out on Instagram. I'm going to post up the flyer there. Maybe put some uh, flyer review stuff on there. I think it's a lot easier for you guys to look at the stuff on Instagram. Um, I don't know that there was anything in here that jumped out at me. That's kind of a nice deal right there, though impact deal if you guys are looking for a set of good impacts mac has always smashed everybody in air, air impact deals oh i have that grinder that's a pretty good deal too these little three inch grinders are handy as shit uh when you're doing some stuff but uh man save 250 bucks on that half inch air pack impact uh thank god the heater shut off um oh they got a 20 piece three eighths inch uh, mac tools Impact toxic. RBRTs are going to be on sale. Get your hands on those. Um, get a free style set with a uh, hole saw cutters. Oh, uh, if you guys are uh, interested too, just in case when you see this, uh, I'll post that up in here. But these are lifetime warranty too. I'm pretty sure through Mac. The hole saw, hole saw cutters. Uh, those are definitely lifetime guaranteed. And I love these files. I've used mine forever and never had any problems. Got the toolboxes. Oh, bound chicka wow wow. Uh, you know how I feel about my Mac toolboxes. Um, I'm starting to become a Mac fanboy, ain't I? Um, I am. A, I've always been a Mac fanboy, but not like huge, huge. I still like other tools, guys. Um, don't see anything else in there for the time being, guys. Remember, check it out on Instagram. I'll post up uh, pictures of the flyer. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Ring that bell. Comment, share, subscribe. Do whatever you want to do. I appreciate you guys. Till we get to the next one, have a great one. We'll talk to you later.